Bob Valley of Vision, B-O-V, Monday Weekly Prayers. Last week, we read one called The Prayer of Love. This week, we read one called The Throne. Another theme that sticks out to me in these prayers is a fear, a healthy fear of God. And I think that comes from what I said last week, having a right knowledge of God and knowledge of yourself. These have been really edifying for me to go through personally. Um, man, really convicting, but really, really good for my heart, mind, and soul. Um, so let's even pray now, just personally, that God would make us um, prayers like this. Father, we've been reading through these prayers, and Lord, I'm just thankful for prayer, and thankful for prayers like this, that express things that we cannot always put words to. God, help us to relate to you rightly and relate to ourselves rightly. Forgive us of our sins, and free us to obedience, Lord. For Christ's sake, amen. This one's called The Throne. O God of my delight, thy throne of grace is the pleasure ground of my soul. Here I obtain mercy in time of need, here I see the smile of thy reconciled face. Here joy pleads the name of Jesus. Here I sharpen the sword of the Spirit, anoint the shield of faith, put on the helmet of salvation, gather manna from thy word, am strengthened for each conflict, am nerved for the upward race, and am empowered to conquer every foe. Help me to come to Christ as the fountainhead of descending blessings. Help me to come to Christ as a wide open floodgate of mercy. I love those descriptions of Christ. I marvel at my insensate folly. And insensate there just means like an unreasonableness. My unreasonable folly. That with such enriching favors within my reach... I am so slow to extend the hand and take them. Have mercy upon my deadness for thy name's sake. Quicken me. Stir me. Fill me with holy zeal. Strengthen me. I love this. Strengthen me that I may cling to thee and not let thee go. May thy spirit within me Draw all blessings from thy hand. When I advance not, I backslide. Let me walk humbly because of good omitted and evil done. Impress on my mind the shortness of time, the work to be engaged in, the account to be rendered, the nearness of eternity, the fearful sin of despising thy spirit. There's that fear of God coming in. The fearful sin. Are we afraid to sin? Do we have a healthy fear of that? May I never forget that thy eye always sees, thy ear always hears, thy recording hand always writes. May I never give thee rest until Christ is the pulse of my heart, the spokesman of my lips, and the lamp of my, of, of my feet. And again we say, because there's really nothing left else to be said, praise be to God.